Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we're going to be heading off to Spa for the World Touring Car 600 and a battle that goes almost to the end of the race, certainly to the last of the laps. So I'm just checking to make sure that we're on the hard settings and then I'm going to pop across to the World Touring Car 600. Three races left to do at Spa. We're going to run with the Porsche 911 GT3. Uh, the suspension and differential are all standard and I've got the output adjustment at 86, a ballister's 8 and the power restrictor to 86 to bring the performance points under the 600 that's required. I've got the carbon brakes, otherwise the car is fairly standard and we are really, really going to have to go for it in this particular race. So this is the World Touring Car 600 at Spa and we've got four laps to go from last to first. So the cars up front are pretty quick and we're starting at the back of the field. So you can see that the leaders are already halfway down the camel straight. So from the off, we know that we're really, really going to have to go for it in this one. There are, there's no fuel to worry about. There's no tires to worry about. This is just a straightforward sprint. No strategy whatsoever. This is all about driver and machine and the setup. Now, I think I could probably have played around with the setup on the car a little bit more to maybe get a little bit more power, uh, maybe change around with the gear ratios. I did change a number of things and I experimented with a good number of cars. And normally I wound up with cars that were either totally undrivable, that wouldn't stop or that were too slow. I tried the Subarus, I tried uh, Jaguars, I tried Mercedes, um, all sorts. Uh, BMWs as well, I tried all sorts, really couldn't find a sweet spot. This 911 was the car that really came together for me. And you're watching this video because obviously we do manage to get gold. And this video is going to be about how we get the gold trophy at Spa for this particular race. Now I'm just working through the traffic at the moment and then I will take you through the actual lap that I do. At this stage I'm just trying to sort of keep it clean and try and get some decent overtakes and that is obviously compromising my gear choices and my braking and turning points etc. So we are up to 12th position now. We are three quarters of the way around the first lap and you'll see that we are still 21 and a half seconds away from the leaders. Now I am narrating this one after the race because I really did need to concentrate 100% from start to finish on this one. And I can't run my normal strategy of staying within 20 seconds of the leaders waiting for them to pit because, well, they're not going to pit. So how are we going to make up that 20 point margin? It's all going to be about late braking, etc., which means that we are going to need to throw it down the inside of the AI cars. It does mean that we're going to end up rubbing doors and bumping bumpers a little bit to open up the door so that we can get through and I'm not going to apologize for that. So as we get into this next lap, I'm hurtling down towards the first corner at the 50 meter board, bury the brake pedal down into second gear and just pick up the inside of that corner being careful not to hit the wall. Get it straightened up and then straight on the power and then up through the gears as quickly as possible. Now we're going to get up into, I think it's fourth gear for a Rouge. I like to take a lot of the kerb on the way in, but I'm compromised by the Nissan in front of me and I have to back out at that big time. So I can't use my normal gears, I can't use my normal lines. And as we're going down the camel straight here, you can see that the two cars in front of us are going away from us. They have got far more speed than we have. So you need the cars to fall nicely for you for Eau Rouge to actually be able to get through there really quickly. So again, I've just jumped across the inside of the corner there because we have to get past those two cars. We don't have time to just sit behind cars and wait for overtaking opportunities to present themselves like you would need to 
when you are racing with real people online. Again, a slight bump of the bumper on the Viper through there just to open the door, but then a clean overtake on the Audi. As we come down to this corner, I'm watching for the beginning of the kerb and then I'll slow it down a little bit, down into third gear just to balance the car. You can do this in fourth, but I like third gear just to balance the car. And it sets you up so that we can get a clean overtake on the AMG. Up into fourth, and we've now got to watch this white Honda, which is going to go up onto the kerb again, a little bit more than we would like. Third gear to get past. That wasn't Honda, it was an RE whatever. Not quite sure. Um, so third gear through here, I liked for that particular corner, getting up on the kerb on the way in and on the way out. Apex this one, you're using the kerb again in third gear, so third all the way through there, then up into fourth as quickly as we can. And as we come up through the rev range, Slipstream Yamanaka in front of us, we'll get up into fifth gear and we'll leave it there using those black marks on the green part as an indication of when to start turning and then we can carry a load of speed down underneath the billboard there, hit the white line, down into second gear for the chicane. You need to be careful not to go too deep and then back on the power as soon as we can. Fragger in the super in front of us is super fast and he's going away from us at the moment. So we'll just go through our normal lap. 50 meter board, bury the brake pedal down into second, turning over that curb, being careful of the wall, up through the gears as soon as we can get onto the accelerator. Looking for fourth or fifth as we go through Eau Rouge. And I like, as I said, to just go straight towards the curb, pick up the curb, pick up the right hand side, being careful not to go too wide over the top. And we get a nice run on the Toyota Supra carrying a fair bit of speed through. Now that car is quicker than us, so it will start to come back at us as we get to the end of the camel straight. That's not a problem because we're going to outbreak by braking at the just before the curbs there um, because I got a good turn of speed down the straight. Broke at the beginning of the curbs into third gear and then left it to in third gear all the way through here. We'll come up into fourth gear but then hit the brakes as you get towards the curb down into second gear to ride this curb all the way around. Ideally I like to try and keep it a little bit tighter to the curb but that was fine. Up into third for this one. As soon as you see the apex aim for it in third gear and then up into fourth gear and then as we get to the beginning of the curb down into third gear for this corner. Again just to balance the car, get it settled then we get up into fourth gear, line up for an overtake on the Porsche which is the same car that we are running. And unfortunately, we didn't quite get him, but under braking into third gear. So I was waiting for his brake lights. As soon as he hit the brake lights, I broke. That put us past uh, just that slight delay in my eyes seeing the brakes and my brain telling my feet to hit the brakes. That enabled us to get by. And then third gear all the way through here. And we've got a best sector, so we're setting purples and getting quicker and quicker all of the time. We've got fastest lap at the moment on a 2.40.0, so it'd be nice if we could get into the 2.39s, but I'm not too worried about fastest laps, I'm not too worried about clean races, this is all about getting the gold trophy. So fifth all the way through there, as you go underneath the circuit to Spa banner, watch for the white line, hit the brakes, down into second, get it turned in, and we're right on the back of the first place runner and I keep on pronouncing Hissel's name wrong, is it Heisel, Hissel, I'm not quite sure, um, really apologise to you mate for getting your name wrong, um, but we're on the back of the Subaru and this Subaru is really quick in this race, you can see that we got a reasonable exit from the first corner but that car is already going away from us so we're going to need to close up on the Subaru as we go over a rouge. so again pick up the inside kerb, let it drift to the right. Just, oh, I took a bit too much kerb there, which unsettled the car. That's why I try not to get over the kerbs going through a rouge, because it will unsettle the Porsche. You're better off trying to thread it between the kerbs and keep it uh, on the black stuff. But that has still enabled us to get right on the back of the Subaru. We're gonna get past the Subaru under braking, so really late braking, 
down into third gear. Use second if you need to. Slight bit of oversteer there has enabled him to come back at us. Um, at the end of the camel straight, if you need to use second just to slam it through the gears and get a bit of engine braking, then do that. But I prefer to go through there in third. Second through here, just holding our line. That meant that he had to back out of that ever so slightly. Third gear through here, and we start to get a little bit of a run on the Subaru. Now, this is the last lap, but we are only 0.8 of a second ahead of him at the moment, so really needing to push. Our fastest lap is a 2.36, so blitz that 2.40 quite nicely. And right now, it's a case of just driving our lines, driving our braking zone. So braking at the beginning of the kerb, third gear, pick up those two bollards on the kerb, bring it across, bring the cup, those bollards on the corner as well. Those are my visual reference points. Again, beginning of the kerb, the two bollards are my reference point out to the kerb up through the gears now as quick as we can but third gear through here just watching for the bollard and then up into fourth and just letting this run as quick as we can at this point we're two and a half seconds ahead it looks like we've actually got that race done but we've still got to keep everything together as we come down towards the chicane for the last time we're watching for that white line eyes absolutely peeled for it down into second gear through the chicane just taking it nice and easy now and then we can come across the line for what looks to be a two and a half maybe a two second win against the subaru behind us and that's a really really quick subaru uh, so 1.9 seconds win uh, i have run this race with cars in different order and it doesn't matter which car is out which car is out in front which type of car that early car or that car out the front is always quick i had the porsche 911 was out front once i had the amg was out front once the jaguar was out front once and they are super super quick so you need to be pushing this one from the off i've gone through the braking points and gears again when you're going through the traffic you are going to need to just think ahead of the corner how that car is going to behave, where you're going to be able to get the overtake done by changing your lines of the gears slightly. But once you can get into clean air, then the gear and the turning points that I called out really are beautiful for this particular car. Using slipstream where you can, but as you notice, there wasn't an awful lot of opportunity for slipstreaming. And as an example here, the Jaguar is coming back at me when I am out in front and even if i was slip streaming the jaguar he would be pulling away from me so it's all about this middle section and the corners but it is ultimately doable with this car and this configuration so i wish you well with your attempts at this race on hard and to get gold if you found this video useful which i hope you have or you've enjoyed it please hit the like button because it really does help the channel. If you're new around here, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this coming very soon. I'm running through the World Circuit races at the moment and I'm going to be going online with the daily races soon. So catch up with me for all of that. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you ever so much for continuing to support me. Your support is greatly appreciated. And I look forward to seeing you guys on another video coming very soon. For now, that's me. Stay well, stay safe. See you again soon. Bye-bye.